First prepping steps for new canners. You will first wash your jars and rings. Okay, y'all. Remember now to always, when you're getting a new case of these, wipe them off with a damp rag so you make sure you're getting any dust off. It's on that plastic. Okay, now. You want to uh, save half your plastic right through here. You see where the bubble is? Start right there. There's the bubble. Start right on that seam. But I go right down the middle first. Slice this right down the middle. Don't be tearing this plastic. Go right down the middle. All the way across to the other side of the bubble. And up in the middle. Okay, so you got that split like that. Pull this back. Pull that down. Now, halfway where that seam is, you want to turn your box and just go all the way around. like halfway till you reach the side of the bubble. And there you have it. I mean, well, we got this side to do. Just go all the way across. The reason why I do that is because I like plastic on my box. I think it keeps them from deteriorating as much. When you're scooting them around, you're scooting your box around, you know, back and forth on scooting it back and forth, shells or whatever. That's wear and tear on your cardboard. So I leave my plastic on the bottom half. It stays by itself. So you do it just like that. Now I'm gonna be canning chicken. So what I like to do is sterilize my jars in the dishwasher first. You can hand wash them if you want, but I like putting mine in here uh, by themselves, no dirty dishes in there. Now you, you can throw these in your dishwasher, but don't throw your lid, which is your seal. Now I'm going to stack them up. I'm going to lay it on, okay? So, there you go. You want to show you when I get back. Now just keep stacking them up like this, like they would come new. So you have this side down and stack them up like that. Downside against that. And just keep stacking those up. And those will simmer later when you're ready for canning. Now to open one of these jars, say this has got food in it, say so you can't get this lid open. They do make things you can get them open with, but don't use one of these. You'll destroy your lid because these lids can still be used for dry canning. Don't ever reuse them for meat and stuff. Dry canning. And I always put a little X on mine, knowing that it's been used. So. I don't know if you can see the rim. See how wide it is there? When you turn it, it gets wider. And when you get down to the most narrow part of the jar, which will be right here, close to the lid, then you take a spoon and you turn it upside like you're going to eat with it. Don't turn it this way. Turn it this way. And you will go in there where your spoon will fit and you will twist it gently and your lid come right off of course that wasn't stuck on there very hard but food that's been canned that's how I get mine off you don't need no fancy tool
Also, when you empty the box, see this one's unsealed. Now's a great time to take some kind of tape, any kind of tape. I meant to get my boxing tape, but I got this tape. Don't matter. Anyway, you want to make sure you tape that. So that plastic helps hold it together, too. You want to make sure you tape it. I always just go up here at the top, tape it. And I don't worry about this. The plastic's kind of holding it. You go all the way around, check your the seal. Okay, that that's the only one I've saw so far. But when that comes undone, you because you're going to be putting your jars back in there. You want to keep that box after you process your food. So we're going to do this one the same way. Cut straight down middle because these were. And go all the way to the round hole on the other side. Cut all the way through that round hole on the other side. Okay. Now, start in the middle of that round hole. I know, we're just doing this again, right? We're just, because we're just leaving half of the plastic on there, where that round hole is. That's all we're doing. There you have that. And now, we can get some more jars in there. I'm going to try to get as many quarts as I can in there, because I'm processing different things, but these will be clean. They'll have a towel over them, and then they'll be ready to process in the canner, uh, however I process. But I always like to pre-wash mine. Now, the reason why I like to put mine in the dishwasher, and I like them to air for put food in there, I will not put the bands and these lids back on there until I'm ready to use them. I put a towel over it. Because everybody knows a sealed jar will get, smell it from the factory. It smells like rubber in there. Okay? So, you want to uh, wash them in your dishwasher or wash them by hand and dry them and put them up. And keep them clean until you're ready to process them. And see how many jar these are quarts. Look how many quarts I got in the top. Two, four... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 in the top. And I'm 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28, 29. And, okay, so I'm going to get quite a bit in there. Okay, to keep my jars from rattling, I was able to get in uh, 19 jars on top. And 18 jars on bottom. Okay, now after they washed and dried, which it takes a while in my washer, because I, uh, and don't use powdered, use li liquid gel or whatever to wash, because these are, you're just removing the odor. I don't like to, you know, okay. And after they've dried, and you want to take a tea, tea towel if there's still moisture in there and wipe them out. And then put them back in your box to store them till you're ready for them. And just fill your box up. And then you're going to put a clean tea towel over that. Going to store this till you're ready. I'm getting ready to can, so I need to have this much work as I can ahead of time. So, and uh, I hadn't washed these yet. I'm just showing you. But then we're going to find a place to put our lids. Another reason why you want to leave plastic on there, in case you set it somewhere and it has a little moisture, it's going to protect your box. 
So, see how many lids we got off of uh, 1818. Uh, okay, now that's my jars. I'm going to turn it off. Stop timer. Stop everything. Now my jars have been in there at 250 for 30 minutes. And they look dry. Okay. That's how you get the moisture out. See how many of these we got? These will... These will, uh, if I'm canning chicken, well, I'll show you how we do those. They still get sterilized. But not in the dishwasher. Now, your rings, you can put in here wherever you can find room. They just... I just like to... They don't really have no odors or anything to them, you know. And those rings not touching food or anything. So, I just like to to go ahead and wash them. You don't know. I mean, it was covered in plastic when I bought these. And, uh, so, and the space that I got left over down here, I'm going to put some rings and I like to throw them over that. Uh, try not to. Try to stagger them. Like that. And then come back and repeat. But that's how I like to do mine. Just wherever you can get them in there. And this has a drop-down thing. I can put some up here, too. I don't even know if I'm... If y'all can see what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I'm... I'm holding it. Okay. So, as long as you just throw your rings in there, you will have to dry them when they come out. You will have to dry them. They're going to be holding water around here. So... You will have, you will dry them. You put them between jars. Just wherever you, you can get your lids. As long as they're in there. My dishwasher, my son has got my water up very, very hot. So, when, when it goes on dry heat and the hot water... Okay, now remember, do this first, because especially new jars and old jars, whatever, before you use them, they're going to have a, when anytime it's got a seal on there, it's going to smell. Now don't put the seal back on there until you put your food in, until you processed your food that you're going to do. Okay, because these jars just come with everything you need. Okay, and I'm just going to put it on a uh, light wash, and I'm going to put it on heat dry, and I'm putting it on uh, extra rinse, because I want to make sure they're really rinsed well, and start that up. I forgot to turn my hot water on. If you turn your hot water on your kitchen before you start your dishwasher, that helps. Mine has a built-in heater for water, everything. Also has a grinder in there. Okay, now we got that done. Now put these lids, all these lids, in the Ziploc bag. Keep them clean. Okay. Uh, Okay, I just put a short video up of how I prepare my my newly jars or your old jars has been sitting on the shelf. First step you do is you wash them. And don't wash them with uh, any other dishes. Just your jars and lids. Okay, y'all. Bye. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope my videos is helping someone out there that's a new canner. Have a nice day, y'all.